Hey, how's it going everyone? This is going to be a tutorial about how to open your Xbox 360s and that type to open. Okay, and this is with the Vizio XWR100. Um, it's pretty much the same no matter what router you use. It, all the layout on the router is just a little bit different. So you, if you have like a Linksys or a Belkin or anything like that, you can follow this same thing. It's just going to be different spots that you find uh, the options you need. Okay, so first you're gonna have to go put in your go to your Explorer bar, or use Firefox and put in 192.168.1.1. That's gonna bring you up to this page right here. Okay, so now you're gonna need to know what IP address your Xbox 360 is using. So you're gonna go ahead and click Internet. Okay, and then you're gonna come right here to optimize video streaming, and you're gonna hit Advance. All right, right here you're gonna see Connected Device. So you want to click on that, and now you're going to see the DHCP client table. And this right here is going to show you what your IP address is for your Xbox 360. Now, the laptop I'm using, my Patton PC, because my name is David Patton, so you know, um, common sense, that's on my wireless N, and that's 192.168.1.101. Um, and here's my old lady stuff right here. And there's her alarm clock on her cell phone right there. Sorry about that, guys. But so that narrows it down to right here. This would be my Xbox 360, 192.168.1.100. So we know it ends in 100, okay? So we're going to hit exit. We're going to come back over here to Vizio. And right here where it says firewall, you're going to hit advance. Okay, and right here, it should say um, port forwarding. So no matter what router you're using, you just want to make sure you find the port forwarding tab. Okay, and this one I can do both. So right here, instead of TCP and UDP, I can just hit both. A lot of people, tutorials you'll see will have like six different options. And it'll say both TCP and UDP. And it's going to have the same um, port forward and everything like that. But So just hit both and kill time. So right here, you're going to want to put Xbox, you can put uh, Xbox 360, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just for your reference. And right here, you're going to make sure it says 8080, you're going to say TCP, and right here, this is the important part. You're going to have to make sure it says whatever your Xbox was. Mine says 100, so of course it's going to be 100. Then I'm going to check on. You're going to do the same thing for all four. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to leave it right here for just a second so you can see it, so you don't have to sit there and pause it and whatnot. Yeah, and I decided to make this tutorial because all the other tutorials out there, a lot of them are like from foreign people, and you know, I like their accents and everything. I'm not trying to criticize on them or anything like that, but some of the Americans have a hard time of understanding them. Um, I do talk pretty fast usually, so I mean, it, it just varies, I guess. Okay, so once you get that done, you're going to come down here and hit Save Changes. Let me go ahead and hit Save Changes. And see, there it goes. And now what you want to do is you want to come back up here and hit Vizio. And you're going to hit Restart Router. And what that's going to do, that's actually going to kick you off the internet and everything like that. So make sure you did all that before you hit Restart Router. Um, log out of your Xbox, you know, turn the power off turn it back on after you restart your router and your NAT type will be open. Um, if you have any questions just go ahead and leave a comment and I'll get back to it as soon as possible. Thank you.